Hello guys, it's Sarsky here and guess what I have in this package? <laughs> guys, this is something that I've been waiting for for such a long time. Well, first of all, thank you and let's get right into it. Guess what's that? Hello guys, it's Zarsky here and today we'll take a look at the new GoPro 5. I will share advantages and disadvantages that the camera has. GoPro 5 looks very similar comparing with the previous versions, but one visible characteristic is lack of housing. That's because this camera is fully waterproof it can be effortlessly detached from the plastic skeleton that holds the camera. Probably the most important features are voice control, improved video stabilization, integrated LCD display and GPS localization. So if we take a look into the specifications, GoPro 5 can record 4K footage and up to 25 frames per second. In 1080p it can record up to 120 frames per second and 240 frames in 720p. Really interesting feature is the video stabilization. Although it crops the image for about 10%, I think it is an improvement because non-stabilized footage is just impossible to watch. However, we should remember that this onboard feature will not entirely eliminate the shaky nature of action camera. Personally, I don't think I would be recording much in 4K since only 25 frames per second are available. The image quality is unquestionably far better than the 1080p. But at the same time, we have to give up on some features, like frame rate or stabilization. When it comes to photos, GoPro introduced the opportunity to save picture in RAW format instead of JPEG. This allows us to enhance the quality and explore the potential of Photoshop while not losing the quality. One of new features is voice control, which enables to give commands to the camera without touching any buttons. GoPro, take a picture. Although sometimes it gets a bit weird. GoPro, take a video. The LCD display is very bright and note that the brightness has been set for 30% throughout this entire video. Personally, I think this is a very good feature as it is integrated with the camera. You can see everything that the GoPro is recording and frame the shot properly. If you ask me about the responsiveness of the touchscreen, it's actually pretty decent. It might be hard to get used to it at the beginning because it needs that extra pressure that the touch screens and smartphones don't need. Okay guys, so currently we are checking the sound quality that is in the GoPro. Uh, I would expect a good quality audio from this camera, but uh, we will see and I will let you know. Another cool feature is ultra wide point of view. It provides you with that extra space but distortion on the edges is quite substantial. I would never recommend using medium or narrow POV because it's just a digital zoom which decreases quality of the footage. Remember that you can always crop the image in post-production. Personally, I quite like the fisheye because it gives that nice action camera look. Connecting phone to the camera is very very easy. It lets you control the camera on a bigger screen. Another important thing is that the time lag is very very small. So basically, you receive a live footage right onto your phone. All in all, I would say that this camera is a very nice piece of equipment. New features make the recording even more exciting. At the same time, ProTune enables to change the settings manually and play around with them at any time. So summing up guys, I think this is a pretty good camera. It's a bit expensive, but if you take a part in a video contest like I did, you might probably get it for free. It's actually pretty good camera and 
thank you so much for watching uh, this review and I will see you next time